Yo, what's good with it, YT? We back with another one, and today I wanted to do a special video. I did point out this one comment, but this video is actually for my friends that are disabled. I got friends that walk around with, with canes. I got disabled veterans that are in wheelchairs and things like that. And some of them want to play NBA All World. Now, NBA All World is an open world game. So, you know, why would anybody that disabled, paraplegic or whatever want to play an open world game? I don't know because they fucking want to. So since y'all want to play, let your boy give you some tips on what you could do to assist because we know that you have to travel you have to recruit you need team reps and like all that you need gold everything right so this is a voiceover so the first thing i pointed out was the daily warm-ups and you have to travel 20 meters 100 meters 300 meters and you unlock three games and you unlock the skill points so that's one of the things that you need to do again traveling is big and if you're having a hard time traveling it's okay so Get yourself a sock. Put your phone inside of the sock and twirl that bitch around for like four to five minutes. And I keep it on this screen because I'm pointing out the time right now. It is 3.56 and it is counting down. So after I click off the screen, you see you see that uh, I go ahead and speed it up at like times 12 or some shit. But you see my meter, it turned green right there. The top left where the feet is, it turned green. So just a couple minutes of twirling and I had already passed like the, the first meter milestone. And I keep on going as you see my avatar literally just spinning around in a circle in the exact same spot. So I check on it, which is four minutes later. So from 352 down to, I mean, from 356 down to 352, you see only 20 meters pass. Now, I know you're thinking like you're not finna fucking twirl for 10, 15 minutes, right? I got weak ass arms. It was hard for me to do that for minutes. I was switching arms and shit, but don't worry. You don't have to do it that long. So after, after I did it for the four minutes, all you have to do is back out, which is, you know, I'm about to demonstrate pretty soon. All right, right there. When I backed out, you see that it's fully green, right? The meter is fully green now. No tricks, no gimmicks. So all you got to do is refresh. Once you refresh, go ahead and click it again. And there you go. Boom. You just you just fucking walked, twirled your arms for 300 fucking meters. And there you go. Now you got three games you can play. And you got the skill points right there. So there goes some traveling. There go, You can't recruit. But you do get the team reps. The next thing, I took a screenshot of my spawns. And at 3.39, I go ahead and clear it out. This is the picture of when it was cleared out. So then I go back in there, another picture at 3.31. So it took me eight minutes to clear out my entire spawn. After that, I back out, voila, got, got another person there. I go ahead and clear out, um, I think that was Donovan at 3.30. So it was literally one minute later. After I cleared him out, I got even more spawns. So you clear your spawns. All right, what's up, chat? So I'm back with it, and we live. And still no Russell Westbrook, man. I really think the devs, the devs are hiding them. But anyway, uh, we just talked about the walking and the sock trick and everything. So next thing I want to talk about will be the arena. You can do arenas from anywhere, even if you're stuck inside your home. So you click on your arena tournaments. And today, there's only four tournaments. On other days, you may see like seven of them. 10 of them and granted you cannot participate in them all so this one is a rookie only one i can't participate in that one team level 10 through 17 team levels 18 through 20 team levels 5 through 9 um what, what team level am i so today i can only participate in one of them and that'll be the team level 5 through 9 but i'm actually almost level 10 so if I wanted to, I can do I can do that tournament real quick. Go ahead and boost up and then hit the level 10 uh, through 17 tournament. And that's two arenas tournaments for me. Um, so, yeah, on there's there are certain days where there are more tournaments. So as you can see with this one here, you only get like one or two of them. And you can find out more about the tournaments actually in the campfire. So. You can go ahead and go into the campfire and shout out to Mitch, please, who did a fantastic job. He's a beta player, so he made a Google Docs for everybody. And if I scroll up here, 
It's right here. He even updated it for everybody because some of y'all are just slow. He was like, all right, some of y'all can't read. Let me go ahead and take the time out and update it for everybody to understand, even the Marines. So you just click on it and it's going to take you to the Google Doc and it's going to have everything in there about the game the the player stats from the starter player stats to the max player stats at the end the tournaments what type of tournaments it's thursday boost day so again shout out to mitch please for doing that and you can get in here and just learn about the fucking game maybe you want to know because like i said Dray draymond green is one of my one of my top players I, I like to see i like to see him work right i love his style his 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 ability or just just his play style his personality to try to get into everybody's head right or wherever he faced up against so you can go in there and be like hmm is Draymond Green and is Draymond good for a late game unfortunately he ain't the best but he can still be used as a good defender so you can, you can find out shit like that or you might not give a fuck you just you might just be like um. I don't know whoever the fuck your favorite player is. You just want to play with them, so you fuck them. You can do that too. So you got the campfire, you got the arenas, um, and I would say, if you if you are at home, right, and you're you're disabled, do you have any friends? Do you have a caretaker or someone? Who might just be willing to go up the street for you or how wherever the nearest gym is. So for me on my map, my gym is literally in walking distance. It's like two minutes up the street. I can get there. And you know, I know that's location based, so it might not be the same for you. If if I turn around here as I'm having trouble sh shooting through, if I get a little closer, if I zoom in. Uh, there's actually another gym and, and if you want to look around your neighborhood all you have to do is zoom completely in and go ahead and do a 360 or what you have around you so up the street you see now that fucking green is in the way but i got i got shirts up there i got xp up there i got i got i got everything up there including another gym so so if you're disabled or whatever and yeah do do you have a friend do you have a caregiver that uh go right up the street for you or into your nearest court click on the court enter the court for you and just bring your phone back for you that way you can just play on the court because the court is actually the best way to grind the game and the fact that you can enter the court walk away from the court and still play especially from the comforts of your home and that's one of the the best possible ways to literally farm up arena cash team rep the rep tokens if i'm not mistaken i think that the court is one of the only ways to get rep tokens i don't know if arena gives you rep tokens i don't i don't remember seeing rep tokens and and my arenas when i win i think and i could be wrong so don't quote that but to my knowledge or just from me playing i have only seen rep tokens from me being on the court and you, you, you can even get the energy, the boosters, everything from the court. So that that might be hands down to best way to play this game. And like and like my man said in the beginning, or what, what, what I quoted with the uh, one hour login and you do a, a one arena. No, there's a there's a lot more to do. Again, you can clear your spawn, go to the court, form the court. Um, I think that's it, man. I, I hope that helps. And for everybody that's disabled, hit the hit the campfire. Introduce yourself. Let us know if you're having troubles with anything or, or go to the Google Docs and, you know, just just take a good read. I, I like to learn about the games. I like to try to figure out things. So having the Google Docs or even or even just going in here to the settings and I click on the settings and I hit about the game and getting started. The player managers, I'm, I'm looking for things that I might not know about the game. And I'm trying to use everything to my advantage so I can be one of the best. So with that, your boy is out.